I'm an atheist. I'm Jewish. And I'm Presbyterian. I'm Muslim. I am Mormon. My religion, My religion is important to me because it connects me to a lot of things. Because it provides a sense of community. I can believe whatever I want to believe. It's not just like my religion, it's also like my culture. It's comforting to have something to believe in when you're struggling. Religion is central to a person's identity, and when this core belief is taken away from people, they lose a piece of themselves. Freedom of religion to me means that each and every person feels safe and comfortable practicing their religion um, you know, to the best of their ability without fear of being targeted because of who they are or what they represent. Freedom of religion is one of the most integral aspects of the Constitution. Freedom of religion means that each individual is able to pray to the God that they choose or choose not to pray to any God at all and live that person's life as they want, want it to be. Under the Bill of Rights, every American has the ability to practice free speech and any religion they choose. These two rights are a cornerstone of our democracy, and when they crumble, our country will as well. Unfortunately, in recent years, these rights have begun to clash with the rise of anti-mosque and anti-Islamic protests. Because of this, many people nationwide are having their religious freedoms robbed from them. When it comes to practicing uh, our religion in accordance with the First Amendment, we, we have to make sure that our house, houses of worship are able to accommodate their worshipers. And so that is where municipal governments come in, local governments, and we, we just have to be mindful of, of helping our community uh, and the residents therein practice their First Amendment right of freedom of religion. Our government has the responsibility to defend the constitutional rights of all people. President Trump signed an executive order which promises to protect and vigorously promote religious liberty. And defend your right and the right of all Americans to follow and to live by the teachings of their faith. The United States of America is a nation of faith. And religious freedom is a top priority of this administration. But the current administration has been prioritizing those who share their own beliefs despite their continuous promises to defend the rights of all people. And now to the Trump presidency. This morning, President Trump retweeted anti-Muslim videos from an extreme far-right group in the UK. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Protests and acts of violence and hatred have been occurring in greater amounts and are only continuing to become more prevalent. These protests are often followed with state or local legislation and zoning laws that prevent people from practicing their own religions. These bills are like masqueraded as bills that are intended to protect our democracy and protect our constitution. But if you look at the language in these bills, they actually do anything but. They actually um, target and uh, incite fear-mongering against a minority community. Um, and the language in these bills is clearly targeting Muslims in America. For example, the McLean Islamic Center in McLean, Virginia, recently protested against unfair laws that prohibited their ability to hold prayers at certain times of the day. The hours of the mosque were limited from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m., and they were only allowed to house 10 cars in the parking lot for the morning prayer, despite having enough room for 90 cars. These restrictions did not allow members of the mosque to participate in the earliest and latest of the five daily prayers of Islam. The government has a responsibility to make sure that laws are in place to protect freedom of religion. And if there are bills that are introduced that would prohibit the freedom of religion, um, lawmakers have a responsibility to make sure that those bills do not get passed. And, and I think that every local government should start from the basis of trying to accommodate those who want to live and worship in their own community. Protesters often believe that mosques in their community will bring unwanted traffic or noise that will disrupt their lives. Others believe that their safety is being threatened by mosques because they fear that mosques will bring violence or encourage the spread of Islam. 
They believe that they are being overpowered or discriminated against by Islam, Judaism, or other minority religions. However, only 5.9% of Americans practice a non-Christian based religion. To be an American means upholding your own rights while respecting the rights of others. Haverhill protests, although technically protected under the First Amendment, prevent people from safely practicing their religion. Infringing on other people's basic rights is inherently un-American. In order to protect this country and the people in it, every person in the nation needs to feel comfortable practicing their own religion.